welcome back to my channel once again today we're going to be doing a haul on this website called shop miss a and basically this website is just a dollar website it ranges from cosmetics to headbands to underwear and to all those good things like that just to put it out there this is not a paid sponsorship so everything and anything i say in this video is just going to be my natural thoughts that i'm sharing with you so if you want to keep on watching this video just keep on and like comment subscribe oh that's a lot so before i actually swatch the highlighters i just want to make a disclaimer um i'm going to be swatching with my finger as well as my elf highlighter brushes because i just want this haul to be as honest and as just realistic as possible so you guys know where to get where to get your savings at and i just want this to be as honest and as pure as possible so here we go with these swatches so when going into the box is i see some big highlighters and this one is called bubbly this is a big highlighter this is in the brand aoa studio in wonder so i'm just gonna swatch oh that's really nice okay um it's not as like blinding as like a uh, wet and wow or elf highlighter would be so what i do recommend is like putting a setting spray letting that dry and then apply this just because it's baked so it's gonna be a little dry drier than usual but for a dollar you guys are definitely getting a steal so just it's so blinding so this is the thing i see is this as well we're just gonna make eye highlighter this is called lux and this is pretty pinkish and it's so cute actually for packaging for a dollar the packaging is really nice to me um i mean it's a dollar shouldn't expect that much Oh, it's pretty. Actually, this actually reminds me of the Rihanna Galaxy eyeshadows. However, this is a highlighter. But the amazing thing about makeup, you can just like inter interuse them. So if you want to kind of get a dupe for one of her like eyeshadows, because this shade, like the way it's glimmery, it just reminds me of her Galaxy like palette. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. So this was Lux. The next thing I see is this, um, the next thing I see is this another, um, another highlighter called Snap. Snap. Like I said, again, the packaging is really nice. I just think for the price, you're just getting a steal for your money. Oh, it's this nice golden highlighter. I think this is really nice. Um, like I said again, you can use it as an eyeshadow as well, so you're getting a dupe for your money as well. It's really nice. Again, like I said before, if you want it to look a little bit more creamy, I will definitely recommend going in with a setting powder, just so it can look a little dewy in my case. I also see this next brand called Amuse. This is the bronze and highlighter. Um, unfortunately, this does not have a name. On the website, you're going to see a lot of, like, numbers, then name. So, that's a little bummer, but I'm going to go in with the Golden. This actually reminds me of my Elf Topaz Glow. And this is just so beautiful. I feel like this is going to be my favorite. It's a little bit kind of like on the, on my tone. Like, it just blends in. However, if you're doing like a dewy look and you just want to go off for, to the museum, this will be an amazing highlighter. And it's, it is buildable, so that's the positive part. So, yeah. We're just going to go into this pinky, rosy shade next. And we're just going to, oh, we're just going to highlight. Ooh, that looks so beautiful. Let me just do one more swatch on top of it. Ooh, it's so beautiful. I feel like the plus side about these, especially this one, I feel like this stole my heart. It's so buildable and it's actually creamy. It's not like the baked. This is more creamier. This is more applicable. And I just love it. It's just so beautiful. I feel like this is going to be my favorite. Back into the box, I see these baked eyeshadows. And it's kind of similar because of highlighter and eyeshadow. 
And just another trick in makeup, I've learned from my makeup artist, my glam team, you can actually enter and switch makeup. Like, makeup, there's no rules, there's no nothing. So just be free to be creative and do whatever. So, I see this baked eyeshadow. It is called Poetic. Okay. It's nice. It reminds me of Cinderella vibe. So, it is a beautiful pink. I feel like this would be so bomb for like an... Oh, as well like a dewy look if you don't want to go out with too much this is just like a perfect pink it's so beautiful actually okay. the next thing I see is an, another baked eyeshadow and it's called Dove I love my name actually I might name my daughter Dove <laughs> so this plastic thing this is beautiful it reminds me of a, of a, a beautiful um Highlighter that I almost don't know the name. Ooh. Ooh. It's like this orangey kind of like beige warm. So the final big eyeshadow is going to be in the color Mars. Let me just swatch that. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just kind of like a metallic kind of like copper tone. It is so beautiful actually. It's giving me kind of like Playa vibes beach vibes a beach so it looks really nice okay so i'm seeing this it's a highlighter however it is it is a different packaging so oh this is actually like a little bit uh bigger packaging like i said again for a dollar this packaging i'm not even complaining okay. so it has kind of like a two layer it comes with this brush, which I don't feel like I will ever use, so I'm just going to throw all that away. <laughs> oh, and it comes with a mirror as well. And like I said again, for a dollar, you're getting your money's worth, so this is definitely a plus for me, even though I haven't even swatched it yet. So let me swatch it right out. It is so pigmented. A little it's a little bit on the powdery side but like as well but like I said again just use a setting spray and it will look just as good it will look a little dewy so if that's ever kind of your problem a trick would be just putting on setting spray and let that sit for like let that just soak in and then just apply with a brush and it will just apply so smoothly so smoothly and it will just look so dewy Okay, so the next thing, as well, we're, we're going to stick with the brand Amuse, Amuse Cosmetics. It, actually, you're getting a dupe for this one as well. You're getting blush and a highlighter, which is amazing. I'm not really going to apply the blush. I'm just going to apply the highlighter. So, here we go. This is in color number one. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is, oh my god. Oh, it is so pretty. This is a definitely a plus for me. This is literally beautiful. Oh my god. I'm just such in awe with this color. Guys, honey, give it to me. So, the next color I'm going to go into is color number five. Um, a blush and a highlighter. So, the same thing, just different colors. It is beautiful as well. This one is more of like a, a purple undertone. It's kind of the same thing, just a little bit purple, purpley as an undertone. Just as beautiful as the first one. However, I feel like the highlighter just applied a little bit more smoother. A little bit more kind of just like a little wet on my hand and I just feel like a wetter kind of highlighter is going to give you amazing coverage especially when applying so don't get me wrong just as beautiful however for some reason I feel like the number one just applied so much smoother on my head so the next one is color number four um I wish they had names for these I think it would have been cool why not name the things you make Oh, 
this is cute. This is giving me kind of like a a uh, um a snowy highlight. Again, I would definitely apply with setting with setting spray just because I feel like if you want that kind of dewy look, that's the way to go. And can I just say the blush on this is so beautiful. Like I've never I always I always see people try like a nice reddish, a nice pinkish. However, this purple is gonna look so beautiful, especially when spring starts coming around. This is so beautiful, it's ridiculous. This is definitely a plus for me as well. So my final, final, final kind of little palette is also a blush with a highlight. This is in color number two. I can already tell that this blush is just going to be my favorite. This will be amazing for kind of like a, a light foundation if you just want to just go to the corner store, however, have like a little bleat, a, a little beat face. This highlight, this um blush is going to look so beautiful. Oh my god. Guys, I didn't really have to swipe. Just a light swipe. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just going to have little swatches throughout the video. If you guys want to see it up close. So, this is in color number 2. Like I said again, if you want a dewy look, this blush will definitely do it for you. So, jumping to the next item, I'm just going to do a quick review on the brushes. I've heard a lot of different things about the Shop Miss A brushes. They're like notorious for being amazing in like applying and... Alright, so the first set of brushes I see is this High Def Brush F8 and this um, AOA Studio High Def Brush E108. And what I've noticed about it, it is a 3D Kabuski brush. This is amazing for applying foundation. Oh my god, it is so soft. Oh, it's so ridiculous. This is going to be nice for kind of like concealer. Or even like just blending out your concealer. This will be amazing. It is so soft. Oh my god. So much other brushes to actually swatch. Oh. Oh, they have elf on this website as well. So, if... I see a lot of elf brushes in Dollar Tree, however, they are a, such a nice brand. Sometimes they run out quickly. So if you're if you're looking for a brush that's specifically always in Dollar Tree, however, you can never get your hands on this website is amazing for having a selection of elf brushes. So definitely get it. I just got the eye crease brush. So kind of like blending my crease. I just bought this brush. Also, also, I got these two random brushes. I got the AOA Studio F15 and the AOA Studio F13. It's random. Probably setting probably a little bit of contouring or drops. It's going to be cool. And I just got this angled brush that unfortunately didn't come in any packaging. So that's a little unsanitary, but it's okay. Um, this is the E. 114 and I feel like this would be so nice for like doing my eyebrows or just like um just applying the concealer itself by the eyebrow this is amazing last but not least I got the actual set and this actually came for ten dollars um which is to me the actual steal because you get ten brushes and you get the actual kind of like pouch so it is a little pricier for the dollar however you can get them individually so that's the good thing and it just comes in this like kind of like this clear package which I feel like is kind of nice especially if you want everything sanitary it's kind of nice so the satchel looks like this it actually reminds me of the Kylie kind of brushes however her prices are ridiculously high so if you want to kind of a dupe for that this is just it's it. So you get you get ten brushes, five face brushes, and five eye brushes, and oh, they're so nice. They're angle brushes. Oh. To me, this would be nice for like setting your eyes, like setting your under eye. Oh my god! Holy, holy guacamole! This is really 
nice. Oh, I can be. I can look at these brushes whole day and not get mad. Oh my god, this is so nice for blending. Oh my god, it is so soft. I feel like these are nice for like giving people a holiday present or a birthday present for people who really love makeup. It's really inexpensive and you can't go wrong with a dollar makeup. So the next thing I bought was were these beauty blenders. These are the Wonder Blender. This website is literally known for these. This is like one of their kind of like most sold product. product. And they're extremely soft. And I've noticed like when you wet them, they're just kind of, and I just find this really amazing for like applying your makeup. So I got a pink one. I got a pink one. And basically the steps are how to use number one, you completely submerge the sponge into water. Number two, you dab the Wonder Blender sponge into your makeup. Number three, you apply it to your skin using a tapping motion, starting at center of the face and moving out and number four you cleanse and air dry before your next use so yeah um they're literally the same thing and i just got one in black one in pink um for some reason i don't know why but this one feels a little harder than the first one it actually does feel harder yeah this one is more softer this one and some people are saying that however i didn't believe them but the pink one is way softer. However, I do like a harder um, beauty blender just because I feel it's, it lets me know that it's actually working and doing its job. So, I got a black one and I got a pink one. I can't wait to use this. Okay. So, the next thing I got was this AOA Studio Wonder Jelly. This is a gel blending sponge. I got it in sparkly. Ooh, it feels so good. It feels actually like latex a little bit. Ooh. This is, I, I feel like I wouldn't really, I'm the kind of person that I just buy because it looks pretty. This is not something I will actually like a use. However, it is so pretty. I'll just put this in my makeup thing. Like, just leave it there. However, this is not something I will actually, you know, try on. I feel like this is so dumb to be honest. However, it is pretty. It even has its logo logo inside like the actual beauty blender which I think is cool. However, I would not use this in a million years. I just bought this just to look at it and just to play with. Oh my god, I actually want to cut it right now. This is really pretty actually. However, I would not be using this. However, it looks so cute. I think I got were these beauty masks. I actually got one for me and one for my mom. This is the cucumber, the cucumber deep cleansing peel off mask. I can't wait to actually try this. However, I thought it was going to be in a cuter package than this. This looks really cheap, but for a dollar, I mean, I kind of expected it. But I can't wait to try this on. I just can't wait to smell the cucumberness. It looks actually green because the woman has it. It's green. But I actually really can't wait to try this, so I'm really excited for this. So, okay, so the next thing I see is this Elf Shimmering Facial Whip Lilac Petal. I think to me personally, this is this says it highlights eyes, lips, and cheeks, illuminates for a dewy finish without leaving a sticky or greasy feel, helps smooth and condition skin. To me, I would personally use this as kind of like a highlight and then actually apply like powder highlight over it just so it can look a little bit dewy and just so it can be a little bit kind of fresh looking. So this is definitely a thing that I would definitely be reviewing for you guys and just showing you kind of my do for this. So and this is definitely going to be a plus for me as well. The next thing I see is this scrubby facial cleansing pad um this scrubby is a flexible silicone pad that gently massages the face using tiny bristles to exfoliate and clean pores revealing a brighter and more radiant complexion scrubby is safe to use on all skin types and fits perfect in your travel bag so here's the step number one wet face and apply by choice of facial cleanser so like if you like to i personally like to use the exfoliant to um, clean off my skin, especially from makeup, I would definitely be doing that. I just like, well, number 
until you scrub it in gentle circular motion to cleanse and exfoliate skin. Number three, rinse and dry your face, apply moisturizer, and number four, clean an air dry pad before your next use. Two more things in the box. Um, second but not last, this a blush. This is actually this is one of like one of my favorite things of all time. I feel like I literally went on this website just to get this. Um, that's the cool part about this. This is actually magnetic, and these are like little magnets you put in the actual um, little palette. You kind of kind of create your own palette, which I think is kind of cool. Um, it comes kind of in like a plastic thing. I find it sanitary as well. And it's pretty. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. This is so sleek. Oh my god. I just I'm already off. And I guess these are kind of like the little magnets that you put inside the actual thing. So I'm just going to open it. And I'm just going to take out the actual magnet. This is a magnet. It's really. really tiny that I thought one thing about one thing I like about this you kind of build your own palette I feel like that's the cool part I got really kind of like pinky rosy colors so that's kind of cool oh this is so pretty I just love the colors I got like a mix of purple and pink so mm. these are really pretty Bro! Oh, this one kind of broke on me. And the last one. I just really love these colors. It's so ridiculous. Oh! I'm just like, this is Christmas for me. I'm just making a mess. Oh my god! This is so beautiful. I just made my own palette. Ooh. Last but not least, I got this little packaging. Um, and it's basically a banana setting powder, a lip balm, and a lip scrub. And I'm really excited for the lip scrub because a lot of people say they smell and taste good. However, I would not be eating them. I will just literally be playing with them on my lips. But I'm really excited for this. I'm excited about how the banana setting spray I'm not setting spray the banana setting powder applies and I'm excited to actually use the brushes and apply so coming to the end of the video if you won't let me texting you every night you should be home doing me right